Hello, virtual fourth graders from across the district. Mr. Late is with you once more in the new year 2021, our second full week back in school. Uh, it's going to get colder starting on the weekend, going into next week. So make sure you dress appropriately when you do go out and about. And as always, thank you for working on my lessons. I know you've got uh, lots of work to do with your regular classroom teacher and, of course, with the other specialists and their lessons. Uh, we're going to be working on Learn 360. And of all the assets that are on Learn 360, the STEM lessons, I think, are some of the coolest. There's both math and science STEM lessons, as you're about to find out. So let's go to it right now under Databases. Click on the Databases tab, and I'll scroll down, find Learn 360. And again, depending upon which school you attend, uh, you all have Learn 360, whether it's at Lannan, Woodside, or of course at Marcy. We'll go into Learn 360 right now. Okay, we've talked about all these different assets, as you know. STEM lessons is way over on the right. Let's click on that. And believe me, this is pretty cool as you're about to find out. Let's click on math lessons. And if you look, I mean, it's a pretty comprehensive list. Uh, and your job is to check out three of these different lessons. And for example, if I go to one, let's see, if I go to geometry, if I go to angles, or let's go right here, angles, triangles, you can see what a STEM lesson would look like. It's very interactive, and it also is a way, as you're doing it, you can assess your learning. Right now, it's still trying to open up. All right, it did open up finally. There it is, angles and triangles and polygons. It gives you the objectives to the lesson, and it says you should be familiar with some of these terms. Well, if you're not, you're gonna learn about them. Lesson contents. And notice down below there are eight separate pages. So if we click on number two, you actually have, here's a sum of the angles in a triangle, and you've got the proof down below. And you've got an activity, select the missing angle measures for each triangle. So again, you can assess your learning from page to page to page. And then of course, there's a final assessment at the end. Now these are, these are awesome. Activities. You will definitely enjoy doing these no matter which ones you pick. So that was the math one. If we go back to STEM lessons, let's go to science because that's also comprehensive. In wow, changing materials, electricity, living things in their environment, the earth and beyond. Look at that. Quite a few. If I go to living things, how about adaptation? It's always a classic. And when this opens up, we should check this out. There we go. There's eight pages. It says what you're going to learn again, the objectives, then the lesson contents. So if we go to adaptations to the environment. Wow, look at that. An eagle's adaptations for hunting. Awesome. Shape, wings, eyes, beak, talons. Adaptations to the environment. Here it looks like you've got a sea turtle and tropical trees adaptations for hot, wet conditions. Then you've got an activity matching. So it's highly interactive. And then you can go, look at that, wow. You can go on then and uh, keep learning and keep assessing your progress as you go along. Love these activities. It's very powerful, comprehensive, a great way to learn about new things so check out both the science and the math stem lessons and there'll be an attached google form that you can then tell me what your favorites were and which ones you did thanks guys and by the way don't forget our special rainforest mystery critter this week it's one of the largest butterflies found in both central and south american rainforest beautiful blue color it's one of the most beautiful butterflies in the world, and you're going to learn about that this week. Well, thanks, guys. Have a great week. Thanks again for working 
hard and keep up the good work. Don't forget Sora. If you're going to be looking to uh, look for books, listening to audiobooks or reading ebooks, that's a great, great site that, of course, we have access to at the elementary level this year. Thanks again. Take care, guys. Bye.